What's up guys, it's a new week and a new RockCon vlog and for those that are on my YouTube channel for the first time, my name is Rock Bagarush, I'm a pro stunt rider and a motorcycle content creator. I have been on YouTube for well over than 10 years now and I tend to collect the bikes. I try to sell some of them in the process but I change my mind because they tell the story who I am as a rider, as a content creator and as a bike builder. So on your right side, is my bike fleet that I collected up to 2017 here and we already shot a vlog about all of those bikes you can find it in your right corner above here you can click there and watch the video and today we're gonna go to the whole fleet that I collected since 2018 onwards and we're gonna check the specs we're gonna check what's the future plans with them my favorite memories with them and of course we're gonna start each of them and hear the sound and I'm so proud and grateful to be in this position to have so many bikes to enjoy them and to share the journey with you guys and yeah massive thanks to all of you who has been following this YouTube channel for such a long time now and later on in the vlog I will also tell you how I got all those bikes and now it's time that we start with the first bike so let's dive into it we start with the KTM 250 Duke stunt bike I use it for the competitions and the stunt shows especially learning new tricks because it's a lighter bike and I'm not that scared of it as with the 790. We did a lot of changes to it and the only stock thing on that bike is the engine itself and 90% of the frame. Everything else was completely changed so a lot has been changed in the brakes category. So a 320 millimeter Motomaster brake disc on the front and then we also changed my front brake, the Frondo FMC 630 radial brake pump, fully adjustable. And we also added a Frondo handbrake on my stunt brake here, connected with an easy pull clutch. Everything is connected to my rear double brake system with two calipers. A stunt bike means you crash a lot, you need to protect it also. So we added a stronger handlebars that doesn't bend that quickly. We added a crash cage, adjustable sub cage and a wheelie bar and also front freestyle pack so it's like a tank you can destroy it and we also added a full Austin Racing exhaust system for a nicer sound and also better smoother engine performance then super important if it's a stunt bike we always cut away the tank and we make a seat out of it so I can stand on it or sit on it and we also changed the passenger seat so I have more support for my butt if I do some no-hander tricks. We also remove the front light. You don't need a light when you have a stunt bike and it's also lighter because of that. Then also a really cool thing, suspension. It's changed, it's kind of a prototype suspension on that bike from WP on the front. And also the rear shock absorber is also a prototype thing that I can change the rebound compression and so on. Beside that, we also have the Avon 3D Ultra Evo tires on it. Super grippy and yeah, this is what you need if you want to go on the limit with a stunt bike. My future plan of tuning that bike is actually not a lot because it's already perfect as it is. The only thing that I want to improve is my rear brake setup. Especially the foot brake is still stock caliper and it doesn't provide enough power so I want to improve that because it makes sense in a lot of no hand tricks. I need to have a stronger brake. So this is coming up this season. I'm gonna shoot this soon in or in one of my vlogs and or in the reels on my Instagram account. My favorite memory of this bike is not really connected to any stunt show or a stunt competition but more the whole process how we build it because it was done with my friend Zeitzmaster who is the designer of my stunt bikes and this is our mad rabbit because Zeitz the surname of the designer it means a rabbit so I called it a mad rabbit because he went completely crazy when we designed that bike and yeah the whole process how we built that bike was really unique and made me happy to create this beautiful stunt bike and now time to hear the single cylinder 250cc bike Next up is my 2019 KTM 790 Duke stunt bike. A lot has been changed, same as the 250 Duke. And yeah, we protected it with a custom crash cage, 
front freestyle packs and a custom sub cage. That was a tricky part because it was super hard to fit the exhaust that goes here. And we make it work with a lot of thinking behind it. And then uh, we added also a stronger handlebar. It's also wider and it can bend when you crash. Then stunt parts, we cut away again the tank. We added also a lot of uh, grip tapes on it. We also 3D printed the back seat so it's harder, so I can stand on it. And also it's a better support for my butt. Also a custom wheelie bar that I want to change in the future, make it lighter because now it's completely out of steel and it's super heavy. So I want to CNC machine the brand new wheelie bar. Then the brake setup, we changed my front brake with a Frondo FMC 630 radial brake pump, fully adjustable, two finger only. Same thing on my stunt brake and also combined with the easy pull clutch. My front wheel setup is a carbon rotobox rim, super light. Then we have also a flame rotors from Motomaster and we have a Hayes caliper on the front. Will be soon changed, I'm testing all different calipers now. Then we have also suspension wise, fully adjustable Apex Pro WP suspension. Completely like compression rebound and so on, so I can really make nice kangaroo stops. Then we have a beautiful handmade titanium Austin Racing exhaust. I love this blue color, check here. Beautiful, sheesh, titanium blue color, best there is. Eh? And then we have also KTM Power Parts race footrest. It's actually a really nice part, why? Because if I crash, it's also additional protection and it's super good to protect your exhaust and the lower part of the bike. A lot's going on on my rear wheel. We have a double brake system. Two calipers goes to the handbrake and one goes to my foot brake. Everything is protected by this freestyle pack. I have Avon 3D Ultra Extreme tires. I love those for drifting. And on the left side is a 56 sprocket for the stunt tricks for the circles. And this will also be changed this year. I want to make it even bigger. I want to try some things out if it's better or not. And also the brake setup will change. I need a bit stronger hand brake on this bike. On the little bike, I need a stronger foot brake. On this one, I need a bit stronger hand brake. So we're gonna play around this season with that. Engine wise, this bike is completely stock. The only thing that was changed is the ECU where we hire up the RPMs on my idle for the no hand tricks. But power wise, the engine is same as every other 790 Dukes. And my favorite memory of this bike is actually last season when my friends from Lithuania came, Sheras, Virgis and Nerius, and we did the drift battle. Unfortunately, I lost, but it still was a super fun day. And especially this bike is made for drifting, is so much fun. And yes, that was my best memory of the KTM 790 Duke stunt bike. This bike scares the hell out of me every time I ride it. It's my drift bike. The KTM 1290 Super Duke R Evo 2022 model. It has less changes than my stunt bikes, of course, but still it has some really nice parts. The specs of this bike, we changed the exhaust with a full titanium handmade exhaust from Austin Racing RS22 with a nice double and can the whole appearance of this bike change and you can now see even better the real wheel um, then we have also a ktm power part cnc machined race footrest uh, also the bridge is cnc machined we played also with the brake setup and i choose the front of fmc 630 radial brake pump same as on my stunt bikes fully adjustable radial and connected to a case front calipers with combination of the Motomaster 320mm front rotors. We have a power parts seat, we have a passenger seat delete, we added also sparkles which test if the bike has sole or not, if it's shaking, if it doesn't shake it's not really interesting bike I would say. Then the bike sits on Hypersport tires from Avon, it's called the 3D Ultra Super Sport tires is the new model and I freaking love those tires for my daily riding and also 
sometimes on the racetrack and that's all we've done to this bike it's almost stock the engine is completely stock and my favorite moment with the beast was actually when we shot the ride and slay 2 movie it was a super scary moment actually i needed to drift as close as possible with my head to a huge log loaded up on a 25 ton forklift dozer that was moving luckily i made it i didn't die and the uh, video and the uh, sequence looked amazing and the future plan i'm not really sure if it's a smart decision but i like challenges and i want to properly stunt that bike usually stunt riders are stunting a 600 cc bikes max but this is a 1300 cc bike with 180 horsepower so i hope i'm gonna survive the plan is to protect the bike uh, and also to add a double brake system so i can try to do a circle wheelie and i would like to kangaroo stop with that massive powerful bike i don't know if i can do it but i would like to try it and i'm gonna show it in the one of the next vlogs and that's basically it what we want to do with that bike the last thing we need to do is the sound check Next up is the KTM 690 SMCR 2019 and I bought this bike because I wanted to learn how to super motor ride, I still can't <laughs> and to create some really cool content and that was also one of my favorite memories. Creating content means sometimes to go to some really nice places with amazing people and this is exactly what I did with the SMCR when I joined the Supermo Fools and we went to Italy and also to Slovenia to some really nice mountain passes and we filmed our series called Supermoto Madness and we are also planning another episode this season we are still figuring out the location but it's gonna be definitely a fun time again so the specs of this bike is actually almost stock we have a orange handlebar we have motomaster front rotors and rear we shorten up the tail with the bogger's performance tail tidy it fits with the oem rear light and we added also some rim stickers and that's basically it almost stock before we go to the next bike of course the sound check uh, i forgot it has also a slip-on exhaust from akrapovic let's start the bike uh, battery is dead let me quickly grab the jump starter where's the battery uh okay plus on the black right and minus on the red right it works number one two three four five in my collection is the kdm 890 duke are that i got last year it's still completely stock i have some really nice plans with it to transform it into a proper race bike with all professional gear with the race suspension race tires race exhaust you name it but for now i enjoy it as it is because already from the box out it comes with adjustable suspension quick shifter many rider aids and 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 so it's a really nice all-arounder and i can enjoy the street and the racetrack on the weekends so i have really nice plans for this season for that bike and one thing that i really like on the 890 dukes is the parallel twin engine how it performs and also the sound that it gives so let's make the sound check <laughs> Those bikes go through a lot of beating, they are pure working horses, they are my Wheelie Academy bikes, the KTM 390 Dukes. On my left side is the 2020 model, on my right side is the 2021 Euro 5 version and both bikes are Wheelie Academy ready. On the right side the silver one is currently in the street setup which means without the wheelie bar and the pre prepared for the wheelie machine but both are kitted out with tons of buggerish performance accessories such as style parts and protection parts crash bobbins engine sliders front spindle sliders sticker kits you name it but uh, they also make 
a lot of fun not only to me but also to my students uh, that are learning how to wheelie and yeah super fun bikes and they have a stock exhaust but sound check is a sound check From the 390cc naked bikes to a super sport bike is my only super sport bike in collection don't worry this sound is the sound of the <laughs> race disc brake and yeah that's my KTM RC 390 2022 bike and for the last one and a half years I have been testing this bike in uh, racetrack conditions and in stunts trying to figure out how it feels, uh, what I want to do in the future with that bike and I decided for this season I want to turn that bike into a complete stunt bike and I want to do stunt shows around the globe on this kind of a bike. We already did a test of stunts in one of the previous vlogs and it has already some tuning done to it uh, so let me show you what we did. On the front we have a special disc, it's the Motomaster T-Floater racing disc, really thick for the high extreme temperatures. So I never tried that uh, disc before and I'm really curious now when the weather gets better, we are still in winter time, it's a bit cold for some high speed stoppies, but I'm gonna tr try this disc out soon. Then we have a little protection here for the forks and then let's move on here. We have the KTM power parts, uh, brake lever, adjustable. Then we have some tank grip so I can hold on better on the bike from Bagrush Performance. Also super important engine case protectors from Bagrush Performance. Uh, then we have also the race footrest from KTM power parts, Bagrush Performance exhaust holder, and also a nice slip-on Austin Racing exhaust, Rock Bagrush edition limited to 50 units only so we have this exhaust system also for the ktm duke ktm 890 duke and also the super duke so if you get one you also support me so we can get even more bikes and do some cool content for your entertainment <laughs> and uh, let's move on what else ah we have here a shorter tail tidy also from bagarish performance uh, which is my company clearly and the whole bike sits on the Avon Spirit tires that perform really well in the rainy conditions because they are sport touring tires and that already comes to my favorite moment with that bike when we shot last year the stunt video the stunt vlog and it suddenly rained and yeah a little rain can't stop us we sat and we went and do, did some tricks in the rain and we got really an amazing content and we were dancing in the rain. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, let's uh, start the engine and let's hear the song. Another RC390, but this one is 2023 GP Orange Edition, brand new. The future plan for this bike is to turn it into a full race bike with all the race fairings, all the race parts, suspension, tires, exhaust, make it as light as possible, you name it. And why? Because I want to hone my skills for on the racetrack with this bike before I go with the 890 Duke are on the big racetrack. Uh, I'm still a rookie rider and I need to improve my uh, riding technique and this bike is perfect for that because it's fast and super light and gives you that confident feeling and you're not scared of doing mistakes. So that's all about this bike. A lot gonna happen to it this season and let's do a sound check. Yes, I know this bike clearly needs another aftermarket exhaust. We're gonna change that soon. <laughs> and the last one in our collection is the new KTM 890 Duke GP 2023 model, 
Unfortunately, I need to give this bike back. I uh, just got it to try it out and to test it. Before we go into the details about the bike setup, I would like to start with my favorite memory on this bike was when my friend Nerios visited me and we went to a hidden mountain pass that I always wanted to shoot a vlog and we did it. We had a beautiful weather. We had a KTM 890 Duke R and this 890 GP and the twists and the wheelies and the fun we had was really amazing and this bike perfect bike for the twisties if you want to go to the racetrack i would recommend the 890 duke r because it has a better suspension and better brakes but for the streets and occasionally the racetrack this bike is more than enough and specifically this bike has a lot of parts as i can see a lot of ktm power parts if we start here we can see uh, ktm power parts adjustable levers and also this beautiful piece of machinery the cnc machined triple clamps then we have the engine case protectors and this blue color is because of the full exhaust system not road legal because it's a race exhaust but it's a beautiful piece of machinery craftsmanship because it's handmade not uh, machined and i had a misfortune that i'm not really happy about it uh, i crashed with that bike when i was loading the bike in my van and i did this thing here a nice dent into the end can sorry ktm please don't be too angry on me uh, shit happens and yeah all in all i really love that bike and i'm really sad i need to give it back but uh, good news is that when i return it i will get two new bikes so we're gonna get a brand new ktm 790 duke will be my future stunt bike so we will build a brand new stunt bike with new setup and we're gonna get a ktm 125 duke i'm not sure what i want to do with it in terms of building into a stunt bike or a race bike or a street bike but i want to try it out because it's been a while i was riding a 125 duke and i started with that bike 12 years ago when i signed with ktm oh and the one last thing sound check And I completely miscalculated how long it will take to show all the bikes. We are here for many hours. It's getting cold and chilly and dark. I promised you also in the beginning that I will tell you how I got all those bikes because I see comments in terms of, hey, bro, give me a bike for free. You have a lot of money and so on. And I thought, okay, it's time also to show what's the reality behind it. So before I do that, I need to bring you down the memory lane. So I grew up in a quite normal family, not wealthy, not poor, but my family teach me how to work hard for everything, what I wish for. And this mindset brought me now to a 22 bikes around me, traveling the world, making shows, making amazing content, entertaining people live and online and in 2007 uh, it was my start of the stunt riding career not really a career but it was my hobby with a big dream to be a professional stunt rider so i bought a beat down scooter repaired it and practiced my first tricks a few years later 2010 i met ktm and i signed a factory deal and then everything completely changed i also got my first manager uh, Peter and later on Marco who is still my manager hey Marco and yeah everything changed currently I'm working with eight major brands in the motorcycle industry KTM is one of the main sponsors and they are also one of the biggest reasons why I have so many bikes around me so how this works with KTM and other sponsors so I get bikes for free for my stunt riding purposes and also content creation purposes. So a lot of those bikes that you see, I got them for free. So I would say 80% of those bikes, I got them for free. And the other 20% I bought for my private use and also for my off-road training. And some were my personal projects for YouTube. Uh, such as the moped for my father and so on. So maybe this getting free bike sounds for some I would say easy 
but no, it's actually a job. I just don't, I don't get those bikes just like that. I need to do a lot of things for exchange to get them for free. That's why I'm an ambassador doing videos and stunt shows. Uh, so it's a job 24-7. Uh, you need to work hard, uh, but I wouldn't cry too much about it because I actually enjoy what I'm doing. My hobby became my job. And yeah, I'm super grateful to KTM and to all the other sponsors that are supporting me. And also to you guys, because without you, without you watching the vlog, share them, this wouldn't be possible. So I'm super grateful and super happy we can go through that journey together and to create uh, new videos and we can have fun together. So I would say that's it for this time and I hope you now have a clearer vision of my bike collection. And I'm curious how many bikes and what bikes we can collect in the next three years. And I'm gonna do a video again. And that's it for this time. See you in the next episode. Until then, rock on.